three leagues top three. I mean, ideally, every, all these teams want to take it. I suppose. We all feel like they're too good for Div 2. They want to be with the Div 1 boys, so taking a win here is going to feel like a necessity for a lot of these teams. This truly is the cursed lobby. Like, I can't believe how long this has taken to start. Apparently got a mouse issue now. Maybe we took so long to start the lobby that someone had to, like, go and recharge their mouse or something. I don't know, but uh, this is this is some cursed stuff, guys. Very sorry for all these delays as uh, as we continue to uh, burn through a bit of time here. But uh, let's have a look at the draft and some of these heroes we're going to be seeing because uh, some interesting matchups here. FN's going to be heading towards the mid lane on this morphling whilst uh, dream looks like he's going to be heading to the safe lane on the void spur as we as we get going oh my goodness is the game actually starting could be um yeah so morphling is going to be playing in the mid lane instead of the void spirit and it looks like he's going to be landing into no one on the viper so is this an okay lane for morphling to survive here seconds to battle. No, he is not. No, he is not. Let's hope he can uh, keep his cool and uh, just kind of manage the comeback Dota quite well. It's, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like 404's draft a little bit better. It, it just seems to fit a little bit nicer together, but at the same time, the there's some interesting stuff going on. There's uh, Dream and Seneca come to lay a bit of harassment into no one and uh, bully him off this bounty rune. So they're going to be able to pick that one up. Meanwhile, a similar thing happening down at bottom as 404 return the aggression and uh, give a bit of harassment the way of uh, Mr. Afterlife. But he did actually manage to swim himself in and take that bounty rune, which is going to mean it's three bounty runes going the way of Live to Win to start this one off. Looks like Zayat is probably going to be using the freedom quite nicely. I mean, for me, a lot of this laning phase is going to depend on what Zayat can do, because I think they can get themselves a really big advantage on the side of uh, 404 if Zayat is able to have a big impact in this laning phase, whilst his Enigma solo lanes against Dream, which uh, should be okay. But uh, yeah, across the board. Oh, by the way, for guys just tuning in, by the way, asking, where's the mail? Where is my king? Well, unfortunately, he's not here. Well, we don't really have any information, I don't think. But um, yeah, the mail is just not playing today. Could could be a one-off. Maybe he's uh, subbed out the team uh, permanently. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll try and look for some more information about that one. Interesting. It all comes down to these little microplays, especially when you're playing in that a, such a brutal matchup as this uh, Morphling. Time to get those poisons racked up on him. He's got to get the strength morph going. He actually has to waveform himself away in the middle lane just to keep himself alive. That is not how you want to be using that spell in the middle lane. So FN feeling really miserable. It's only a matter of time, I believe, until he uh, relegates himself to the jungle. In fact, already, he's going to go over and hit this uh, small camp here. Got to be done. He's living the dream. We'll see what he can do with this free lane he's being given in the mid. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, so it's getting all up in Sameko and Dream's faces here. Popping the cogs, popping the battery assault, giving them a little bit of a bullying. And Ray just saying, what's up? Introducing himself to the lane. And Resolution's doing okay for himself right now. I mean, with his creeps coming back to the tower, Dream's going to be able to hold it right here, which is going to be quite nice for him. But yeah, all, all things looking pretty damn good for 404 in this laning phase so far as Ramsey's also doing pretty well down in bottom also. 
complete. He's getting tickled pretty heavily here. He's got another bash in two hits available, so we'll need to get a couple out and we'll throw it down onto Solo instead, just utilizing the harassment rather than going for an actual kill and trying to put as much pressure as he can onto these 404 heroes. Mid, FN, going for the TP away. He's just about going to make it with the Strength Morph coming out, but that was so close. That and having the TP back to base at 3 minutes 40 as a mid laner is not what you want to be doing. That's not how you want to be spending your day. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Like stealing candy from a baby. And no longer living. Afterlife getting very low down in the bottom lane, but Emergent's going to be there to heal him up. So all is well. That wand gets popped, saves the Slada, and keeps things ticking through down in the bottom lane for the side of Live to Win. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Very frustrating for Slada to deal with. Uh, pretty good laner into this uh, big scary Fisher's mid again. Sven gonna run, get run down. This time he doesn't have the TP to get himself away. Did have a fairy fire, but I mean, I think he was dead to the poisons regardless. No one just gets on top of him and the Viper is just completely smashing this middle lane. Man, no one, what a triumphant turn to the middle lane for him. The seeds of fortune. Uh, Morphling again at mid. Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh no. Morphling. This goes to sit in his miserable little small camp, takes his miserable little creep, and continues on his miserable little existence. Oh. Oh no, Zayat's coming in from behind. He's going to cut off FN as he goes for the wave on way stuck inside the cogs. And Zayat is going to be able to deal with them. FN gets brought down again. This Morphling is just not having a game. Oh my goodness. He needs to have some serious mental fortitude to be able to keep himself in the game here because there is no way this guy isn't getting at least a little bit angry at this. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> if you have the money to. Yep. Afterlife at the bottom in some trouble here on the slaughter as he tries to wither his way through the trees, turns around with the Slytherin crush and it looks like they won't have the uh, movement to get on top of him. Don't have the slows. The slaughter will slither himself away to safety and now the Io comes sliding on across to give him a couple of healies. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has been oh, yeah, denied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Players here. Well, Soneko is now taking up the uh, the reins in the middle lane here. Did get the deny on the tier one tower, but the fact that the tier one tower is dead this early on in the game is uh, is, is quite problematic. Under the tier two, FN will be able to take it quite easily. As afterlife once again getting pretty low, Soneko just TPing straight into their faces here. Uh, doesn't throw down the sprout though. Just chilling out. Now throw it on Solo, throwing it down with the Remnant as well. Solo is going to get blown up by Dream, and that is going to be the first kill on the board for Liv to win, but they could be in some trouble now. It's no one. Zayat's Ramsey's all wrapping around the back here. They could be in some real issues as Immersion being tacked by no one, and he's going to be able to get the kill once more, finding another one. Level 7 on this Viper, just an absolute monster roaming around the map at this point. You did Dyer's top tower is under attack. Okay. <laughs> and he's back. No. Okay, he's gonna TP himself to base. Yes, he does. Do it with 
flare. Yeah. Yeah, Dream having that one kill puts him somewhere in contention for the net worth charts, but still looking pretty grim. They need to make some really magical plays happen on the side of left to win if they want to bring themselves back into this game, otherwise it's, it's going to get real sticky real quickly. Bring it down. Bring it down quick. Radiance that is the plan. Is Meanwhile, Zayat's trying to find Slada in the tree line here. Will he be able to do it as question? Well, Slada's actually going to get killed Dyer's off by Dream elsewhere on the map. And Emotive's going to attack. swoop in to save the Slada. Radiance Not that he really needed it. He was pretty safe. Attack. And now, Live to Win getting some pressure down at bottom. They are okay, taking this tower with the Treants, with Seneco. Dream going to cut the creep wave as well. So, same aggression being mirrored by a side of just error as usual. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Down he goes. Big kill for F then. Huge kill, in fact. Radiance how did that even happen? Is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Wow. Well. Radiant's courier has well, been Well, that's killed. pretty crazy. He's, uh... Yeah, he's, 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 he's back in the game, folks. He's, he's like level with Ramses now. That, that's actually like the most like, game-changing play FN could have possibly made. I mean, it's barely even like he made the play, though. I mean, he got caught out there. Meanwhile, Slada get beaten down. Oh my goodness, he's going to get the trade before he dies. Both Resolution and Afterlife fall at the same time to one another. It was a black hole being used, but, you know, with a kill into the Slada, but we'll be quite happy with that. Yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just drop the ultimate. He's gonna try and bring him down. He will. He gets the damage off solo with the catch. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. FN, just as it was looking like he's back in the game, he gets taken down again. Meanwhile, the merchant gets poisoned up. It's gonna survive as uh, Slada comes to the front line. Dream sneaks in around the back and gets a kill for Zayas. Now looking across towards Enigma as well. And Enigma in some real trouble here as he's gonna get killed off. Meanwhile, the relocate comes in from Merchant. Just wants to help out and keep his teammates alive and try to get on top of no one. No one is so tanky. Everyone getting super low here. He might get one kill. Kill. He might even get two. Emotion needs to stay away. Drop in solo. Needs to dodge the creeps. Needs to drop the poison. Will be able to get himself out. And the Io will narrowly survive that one. Afterlife, not quite so lucky, but still, we live to win. You know, they're brawling their way back into this game one punch at a time. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Maybe, oh, actually, it's Ramses who's in trouble. Snakeo drops down the sprouts to cut off his movement, and that's going to be a nice kill. I love it when you see Prophets putting down the sprout on the choke points like this, so that they're quitting Blade, can only take down one tree, and they're still stuck. Really nice movements from Liv to Win still. Yeah, not... Yeah, I can't answer that one for you, sir, I'm afraid. But, yeah, that was a difficult position to find himself in. And now, moving up to top, they're looking at the Enigma here. No black hole for you, and Dream's going to be able to do it solo. Merchant just going to swoop in and say hello, connect him up, and get him out. 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, an extra 350 from the profit is uh, definitely <laughs> pretty, pretty helpful. Talking of Viper, I'm just gonna set his eyes on him, send a couple of poisons his way. It does feel like no one has been severely muted in this game though. He had such an amazing lane and he has done very little, but now there's a bit of movements coming in as they'll bash back the Io into the grasp of resolution and he's gonna time them out perfectly to stop him getting that tether away. Emergent's gonna pop that mech, is it gonna keep him alive? It is not. They'll get the kill regardless and uh, 404 draw some blood in the river or whatever it is that Io's do when you cut them open. And now Dyer's they look to put some pressure into that dire triangle. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance Courier has been killed. Radiance Courier has been killed. I see, I see. Radiance Courier has well, been killed. Well, at least he's got the Atos now, so his first real active item is online. He can maybe look to make something happen with this, as they've seen the Slaughter, but, uh, well, Sonny's actually kind of going to give it away that they know he's here as he pops that, uh, that cold Arctic burn and drops the ultimate onto the Io. This might be going for the Slaughter as they hold back the Io to try and get the kill onto off but That's not going to happen as Merging comes sliding on through, helps him up, and Echo just blows up the Viper on the back lines. That's some sweet, sweet revenge for Morphling as they kill off no one. And I look for more as the Bash has come down onto the Winter Wyvern, and he's got to catch himself inside that cold embrace but it's not gonna last forever and now that it comes out of the other end he's gonna get murdered very very quickly as fn brings down zion from the side as well this was a absolute demolition from the side of live to win the dream finds another one on the side resolution falls 404 are completely falling apart radiance middle tower is under attack radiance middle tower has fallen Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Huge testament to the player as well, because, you know, he is known as being a somewhat volatile personality in pub games. So you would expect that after a start like this, you know, his his head Radiant's would not be in the right place. But he's proving attack. everybody wrong here and kind of showing like, look, I, I, I'm, I'm chill. I'm fine. I know my team's got me. I can trust them. They can trust me. And then he just bounces straight back into this game. And he's going to be top of net worth soon unless, uh, you know, Dream State keeps his farming rate up, which I don't think he will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> valuable lesson, guys. You know who you are. Dyer are scanning. certainly isn't. Meanwhile, Resolution, he has uh, got his mechanism, he's got his arcane boots, and is heading towards his blink next. So he doesn't actually want to complete the greaves. Feels like the blink is going to be quite important for the next engagement, and they seem to be setting up on Zaneko here. He has got himself that glimmer cape. Not going to make a difference, though. Zayat's close to the gap. Rezo, he's got the dust available in one second. They don't even need it, though. They've got the vision down, and they're going to be able to run down this Prophet. Pretty damn tanky for a Prophet, but still will fall regardless. If you come back, I'll kill you again. Yeah. Top 
lane, Ramsey's walking into this lane and there is so much pain that awaits him. He can turn around, has the option to get his ultimate, so the gank will be done, but still, nice amount of pressure put on by the side of Liv to win as they poke and prod and make him feel very unsafe. Look at this little river duo. The Slada and the Io gliding around the place doing what they want. Meanwhile, no one unleashes with the Atos onto Dream here, but he's got the Dissimulate and a Yule's available so he can dodge most of the Viper's damage if he so pleases. So no real follow-up available from the side of 404. I guess he didn't want to Yule's himself in case he got Black Hole, but was perfectly safe regardless. They are loving life on the side of uh, Live to Win. Everyone's filling their roles very nicely. And, you know, this is exactly how you want to play. If one of your players had a rough game, just make sure that everyone's doing what they should be doing and uh, doing it very well, and you will not have any troubles throughout the mid-game. Also, it's definitely something to be said about no one, you know. Yeah, well, not really no one, but more the Viper. This hero, you know, it does destroy lanes, but at the same time, it's not often super dominant force by itself throughout the mid game. You need someone else doing very well to set up for you. Unfortunately, Zayas didn't quite have the same laning phase as him. Dyer's are taking this tier too, but at the same time, there's a Roche going on. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's pretty important. As uh, so we're going to be able to just take this Roche uncontested. That's a pretty big slip up from Live to Win, I feel. Wax the measure of power. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dream absolutely shreds him. Greets his cheddar. Good and proper. Solo's going to get taken down by the DD Void Spirit. And, uh, well, won't be seeing any aggressive movements from the side of 404 for a little while now. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Very possibly, Hookshot comes in, Black Hole comes through onto the both of them, the Io and the Morphling held still inside a beautiful Black Hole from Resolution, but the Waveform still comes through, a nice Lincoln Crush from the Slada, but he's going to get turned around and get Viper striped up, and now in comes the Void Spirit, trying to make something happen here, playing around, trying to buy the space to get the Slada out of it, but Zayas, he is needled in, and he is right on top of him, and they should be able to take him down, Slada trying to turn it around, but inside another Toxin, no bash for you, but they still get the return kill regardless, it will be a trade made from the side of Live to win, and considering they got a Black Hole from that, I don't think they're going to be super disappointed about how that one went down. here. Can they bring him down in time as Void Spirit shows off his fancy new Agonim? Definitely getting kind of low, but the Viper getting so much lower inside the cold embrace. Oh no! He goes down! They get him killed off as no one will fall. And now, well, Flop uh, being dragged to the side as uh, Ramsey is just kind of taking chunks out of the Slada. Soneko trying to back himself away. He is going to be able to get himself healed up by the Iron Imagine comes flying in, heals him up as they'll drop the ultimate down to the Void Spirit, just trying to give him the space they need to get themselves away. But Solo, he is going to get left behind as he drops that cold embrace. That's going to hook himself across the creek wave and get him himself out as they turn around, they get the kill onto the slot, onto the um, troll warlord. He's gonna need some help. He's coming back from round two. He has got that BKB and just going straight away for the TP out, but Slaughter is there with the bash, doesn't miss, and now wants to close the gap. The merchant even coming in with a body blocks as well. Ramsey's BKB is about to end, but it doesn't even make a difference. He's gonna fall, and that is a troll dead again. Live to win are just turning up the heat, and they are deep frying the side of Just Era right now. There is nothing they can do against this team. They are not. 
even jump in it deep with the use of the tier four for the five and then we'll go for this one. Of course they do. FN wants his sweet, sweet revenge and he will carry it out without an ounce of mercy as they take down this Viper and now start to smash down the tier three tower. It is falling so quickly under the power of this Morphling. Radiance middle tower is falling. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. It's, it's, it's re I'm going to be really, really interested to know what actually the situation is here with resolution because if 404 are like, you know, oh, the reason we're, we, we've we been falling down to DF2 and not performing as well as we wanted is definitely because uh, of this language gap and now they have resolution and that excuse is kind of gone and it's still not going their way. But of course, now you can say, you know, our resolution, we're not used to playing with him. So I'm sure there's excuses to be made, but these players don't want to be making excuses. They want to be pulling out the wins. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Can, can hardly blame him when it's like 4 a.m. and it starts as we have a fight coming in. A big black hole coming down. Although the Morphling was still able to get off that strength morph somehow, so he's going to be able to survive through it. We form himself down to the low ground. Unfortunately, a Slardar, he's going to get separated from his team a little bit. The lift the winner saying, hey, you know what? It's worth it. Black hole for Slardar, that's a trade we're happy to make, and they will leave him behind and just reset this engagement. Although I say that, they're jumping back in here. Rick's going to be able to take down Solo. They've already gone one return kill. Now they're picking out the troll wall trying to control him. He has got himself a battle trap. Going to pop a beacon in the battle trap, trying to turn this one around and look to get himself a couple of kills. Imagine going to be a new target here. So that's getting us something as well, but a tether across over towards the Morphling. The Winter's Curse can be used by Solo, not doing a whole lot, but just holding back the Morphling, allowing him to deal with Dream. Immersion and FN need to get themselves away. Immersion is not going to be so lucky as Waveform out from FN as he goes towards his bounty and he is going to grab it, but could be in some trouble. Do they have the catch though? No, they do not. Hook shot off cooldown for 12 seconds. The Morphling's going to be fine, and that is going to put an end to this engagement, but still three kills from the side of four and four. Live to win, maybe a little bit overzealous as yes, and Echo in some trouble. The trees come down, forcing him out of the cogs. A cute play, but not enough to get him out of here, I don't think, as he is now being whittled down by no one here. All that poison coming out into the nature's profit. He will not be surviving. He will Dyer's not be surviving. He won't be surviving. He Goddamn survived. So Nakio, you genius. He gets himself out. There we go. I mean, a slight, I want to say greed on the side. Yeah, they, they, they were like, ah, that guy's dead. Wow. Yeah, that's what they, that's the kind of thing they teach you at day number one in Dota school. a little bit, but meanwhile on the high ground, Solo dares go for a D-Ward and gets cut down for it. Look at that, he's just like, yeah, back door, protection, fortification, oh, I don't mind, that's okay. I can go through that, no worries. Yep. Four minutes so far it's been up for, we'll finally get put down by no one, but what's that? I mean, they're just gonna replace it immediately, they're like, yeah, no, we, 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 we still want that vision. We don't care if you do water the moment we leave that. They jump into the fight, but there comes the Yules, there comes the Remnant, controlling him up. The hookshot is the Morphin, nearly brings it down, but it's gonna be safe by Merchant once again. Keeping the Morphin alive, they can turn around and blow up Zayats. If you dare jump on me, sir, I shall teach you the true meaning of pain. However, they're throwing a couple of spells their way, but FN's fine. He's just vibing on the low ground with his Io. Best buddies hanging out, keeping each other alive. And that's a real bromance right there between Immersion and FN as they just keep each other alive. And back onto the high ground we go, and another day, another Yules from Dream, another Remnant 
coming down. This one will connect, but Arthur's actually going to jump onto Ramsey's. Ramsey doesn't really seem to care, though, and he has still got that battle trance available, so not too much for threat on him as they take the barracks, try to leave. Dream's going to stick around and get the three man silence off and then just blink himself away. All is well for the side of Liv to win. in a spot of bother right now. By a spot of bother, I mean he's absolutely dead. He gets completely destroyed by Dream and they relocate in from his teammates. This global presence from the IO and the Nature's Prophet is just so damn scary to play against. Like these 404 players just keep trying to exist. Even in their base, they're getting killed. It's, it's really a non-stop and don't even bother about Roshan. FN's like, hey, I've, I've got a Lincoln Spear being given to me by, I think, the Void Spirit. I'm happy to sit on the high ground. Of curse available, but they don't care. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Couple more hits, and the Raxel Fool's eyes trying to save him. He jumps in with those cops, bouncing back the Morphling, just trying to put him in a wolf position as they get the Nether Tugs down on top of him. Ramsey keeps popping the BKB to take some shots at FN. He's gonna be fine though. Even popping the Mantle to get himself found. Immersion comes across and saves him. And that's a BKB for nothing. And a hook shot. Yeah, it certainly is. But they did save the barracks. So. Nah, he's fine. I think we've been down this route before. Seneko is 100% fine. Oh, he's dead. My path leads to riches. Damn it, Seneko. I wasn't going to let you bait me again, but time was no bait. It was just death. Meanwhile, our Fender Immersion just got to come and casually Radiant's kill off the barracks. Uh, Solo tries to go in for the Winter's Curse. That's not going to happen, though. Immersion's ready. I mean, the only thing they could do is somehow break Immersion's uh, reload, which is yeah, it's just not happening. It's not in, not in your wildest dreams. If only they had 10 core stars. Uh, meanwhile, Viper, oh no, he gets jumped to mid. Wasn't ready for that. Zayas is going to be in some trouble as well. Dream jumps himself forwards, but Ramsey's and Resolution here to back him up, especially with his fresh new BKB from Enigma. So they have to respect it for Liv to win, so they won't jump any further than this. Imagine kind of lost in the trees here. Uh oh, it's a bit of an awkward situation. They're tempted by this, but they're more than tempted. They're going to go for this item. Uh, Fen's going to come across though. Drops down the ethereal blade onto his teammate, trying to keep him alive, safe for the right hit. In comes a black hole down. Oh, just on top of the item. I mean, th th they get him, I guess, but it doesn't feel great to drop a BKB black hole on Iron. Fen just turns around and machine guns down Resolution. Absolutely brutal. Resolution is chasing him across the team fight here. Going to pop the battle trance as well, but in comes Dream here with the control along with the Slada. They'll be able to completely kite out this troll. Warlord, and they'll finish off with the dash. So that's it. GG is cool, folk. Live to win. They brutalize the side of just error. Absolute smashdown. Dire victory.